Right now, investigators are looking into a fire that destroyed at least three warehouses in Stockton. Case here three is Brian Hickey joining us now in Stockton. So Brian, the fire crews have been out there all night long and looking over your right shoulder, you can see why. Yeah, and the fire continues to smolder out here. Stockton Fire Department here this morning is they're keeping an eye on this fire that continues to smolder inside these warehouses. I just talked to a man who uh, says he's the business owner, and it was a business that made awnings, so it was full of plastic tarps and material, and that is uh, obviously fuel now for that fire that continues to smolder out here this morning. The Stockton Fire Department said they first got a report of fire around 7 o'clock last night, and that initial report actually came in as a grass fire. They could see it burning outside the building as they were arriving it said by the time they got here though it had extended into the warehouse and was already burning through the roof when they finally got their hoses out and started putting some water on this fire quickly elevated it to a four alarm fire as there were a number of surrounding buildings that they were trying to save as well just taking care of uh, smoldering spots we're not going to actually put too many people inside here especially under this building um, because it's, it's there's a lot of structures that are still standing but they're not in great shape so we don't want anybody operating underneath them and so they've been doing their best to make sure that these hot spots don't travel anywhere but again they just keep flaring up they had everything knocked down just about 45 minutes ago and you can see it just rekindled right back up again firefighters say they're trying to preserve as much as they can for the investigator to get out here a little bit later this morning by daylight and try to figure out what started this fire that again initially was reported as a grass fire in Stockton, Brian Hickey, KCRA 3 News.